morning everyone, once again here from Cold Peepee. We woke up super early today, it's about 6.45 a.m. right now. All the stores here are still closed. And we got up this early because we want to go to Maya Bay when it's a bit more empty. I think it opens at 7 a.m. So we just booked it at our hotel and the guy came to pick us up, the boat guy. It's going to be 2,000 baht overall. And I think that's for about uh, three, four hours. Are you awake, Carol? Half, half awake. Half awake. I think everyone's half awake right now. The sun still hasn't come up yet. Hopefully it's a bit higher once we arrive there. Well, it looks really nice there in the morning, doesn't it? on the island of Pipi Le where they have uh, Maya Bay. We're not going to Maya Bay first though because uh, there's an issue with the waves. It's very wavy right now. So our first stop is gonna be the lagoon. Like we said before though the only issue with coming so early is that everything's still in the shade right? So it doesn't look as beautiful but you don't get the crowds so you can't have it both ways. Wow look at that though the entrance to the lagoon. We're all getting the classic photo at the front of the boat. <laughs> That's the shot right there. It's really nice though. I'm actually surprised that so little people come at this time still. I thought there'd still be more boats around. There's just one boat over there and that's it. stopped in now is called Lo Sama Bay I think. This is the entrance to Maya Bay. Maya Bay is on the other side but we gotta walk through here. Are you surfing mum? Yeah. <laughs> so we did have to pay 400 per person to enter Maya Bay. I think this is the only place where we have to pay uh, extra. I think they even have a limit of people that can be in here at one time. Obviously we're not reaching that limit. Right now it's very quiet. All right here it is. That probably took about three, four minutes. Finally get to see it. So the sand here is also extra soft. It's very white. I didn't realize it was such a white beach. Yeah, I think that's the difference. That's what makes it even more special than the other places here. Because the, the sand is very white and yeah. powdery. <laughs> so soft. Yeah. Wow, and this is the view. This is the view that I saw in the film, the beach that made this place famous. Look like this exact view here. You've seen that film, right? Yeah. Did we watch it together? I think so. Oh, okay. I've watched it like three times, so... Didn't know if I'd watched it with you. But even now so early, you can already see it is a bit busy already. So you can only imagine later on. I mean, it looks like there might be around a hundred people here already. I think this place is extra special though, just because of how it bends all the way around the cliffs. Like from over there, we couldn't even see the opening in the middle at all. It looked like just a wall going behind.
not allowed to swim here at all. You're just allowed to dip your feet on the edges. That's about it. You can't go swimming in there. You used to be able to, I think, before 2018. So in 2018, they actually shut this place down because of all the damage due to too many tourists coming. I think there's like 4,000, 5,000 tourists coming every day. And from what I read, it left like only 8% of the corals here. And there's pretty much no uh, fishes or anything anymore. And they even said like sharks are back now. And apparently the corals are all coming back. But that's why they don't let you swim here. It's also because the boats used to come through here, not the entrance we came through. So yeah, the boats caused a lot of damage on the corals too. now we're about to leave the sun is just peeking through now so yeah, it's a completely other level once the sun's hit in the water now you can see really how beautiful it is here's the little sharks that I was talking about that's really cool that they're around here if it was less wavy you'd be able to see them really clear So even now, it's still not too bad at 9, is it? No, I think maybe only around 11, but you can get very busy. 10, 11 from what they yeah. said. I think sometimes there's even a big queue to enter because of the, the limit of people that can be inside. Yeah, we saw some like recent pictures where people were just completely queued up here. So that's what we didn't want. Yeah, maybe it's not good to get here around 9. It's just flooding with people now. Because I think there's people coming from all the areas like Phuket and Aulang, Krabi, all, like, all the places in yeah. this area. So. I mean literally just since we got up it's got way more crowded all of a sudden. Now we've come around the other side of the bay. So this is where the entrance would have been in the past. That's the beach that we were on over there. I think we're stopping at this part. I think we can swim around here maybe. There's another little beach over there. So we didn't know, but they also give us some uh, snorkeling equipment included in the price. And he said some of those sharks are around here. So we're gonna try and find those. Loads of fish here already though. Sure you don't want to go in, Mum? No. Thank no. You. <laughs>
I think this is the last stop. I think it's called Monkey Beach. It's really high tide right now, so there isn't much beach area. But this water looks amazing. Probably the nicest that we've seen on this tour so far. He's just chilling, isn't he? Yeah, eating some leaves. Some leaves. <laughs> Breakfast time. You can tell he looks like an older one. Yeah. Identical to Koron, Banul Beach, that we went to recently. Oh, in Koron, yeah, Banul Beach. Yeah. Very similar. In the Philippines. It was like this, the coast. Any monkeys up there? I don't see. I don't see any. Oh, ah, yeah, on the rock. Rock climbing. So we come to the far side now. Bit more of a beach area on this side. Looks really cool with these trees hanging over. Don't think there's any monkeys on this side though. Can't see any anyway. Back on the main island of Pipi Don now. It was a really good tour, wasn't it? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. And I guess we went in the, the right time. Yeah, you get your money's worth for the private tour, that's for sure. And now we're just looking for a place to have brunch because nobody is eating anything yet. <laughs> so we didn't have to walk very far. I already found a cool little trendy cafe. Good time TP. So it's called, you can get an English breakfast 180, American breakfast 280. So I think I'm gonna get the pancake here, 150. I'll also get one cup of yogurt for 30. And some milk tea, hot milk tea 70. What are you getting? I'll get the egg benedict, maybe without ham. 130. Yeah. just walked over to Lo Dalum Beach. If you watched the last video, we came here, but it was low tide, so the water was all the way out there. So now you can really see how beautiful this beach is. A lot nicer than the beach on the other side. Water is amazing on this side. Certainly a lot nicer than in the last video. Yeah, it's just like a different beach. It doesn't yeah. look like it's the same beach. It looks like we come to a different place. gonna be it for this video it's still early 
but we just got up so early and we've done so much stuff that yeah we're not going to do anything else all day probably just uh, stay here and do some work edit some videos need to get some some videos done and we ended up spending just two days on pp overall and that was a good amount of time we're kind of seeing everything that we wanted to see overall it's not really a place that we'd want to spend like weeks though we prefer uh, places that are still more natural here is very developed there's obviously still nature but it is very developed but it does seem good if it's a place where you want to go out and drink and go to the beach then you could spend a, a week or two here easily and our next videos are going to be from Phuket the famous Phuket so yeah we're going to be heading there tomorrow and yeah we'll have some videos coming from there so if you like this one just drop a like to support us subscribe to see more videos like this follow us on instagram and facebook and we'll see you around